Hi, I'm Andre from HPOO, and in this video I will show you how easy it is to use the O Designer, a web-based version of O Studio, also known as the Workflow Designer, in order to implement new workflows and make them available in the CSA's consumer marketplace. To be more specific, let me go to the CSA marketplace and head to the services section. Let's say I have this online service and I want to extend the user options here by adding an additional one. As an example, I will want to add an option so that the users, the consumers of this online service will be able to get OS specific information, running processes on the VM and even some CPU and memory details, why not, and have them handed over email. Now you can easily add more user options from the management console. So let me get there and, and show you how. Once you log in, you can head to the designs, sequence designs, resource offering, and go to the user options. Here you can add new option using the wizard. The tricky part is when you do not have the use case available at hand, in which case you need to create it yourself or when you have it but it doesn't work 100% the way you want it to work, in which case you want to enhance it. So where do you create it or where do you enhance it? Starting CSA 4.8, you can use the O Designer, which is based on CloudSlang. We'll talk in another video about it. And the designer will do the magic. Let me show you how. You will go to the workflow section in CSA and trigger the designer option that you have here. A new pop-up will appear with the designer window itself. By default, for your user, you will see empty content. It is my case here. And of course, it is up to you to import the relevant stuff. Let me first import some dependencies so that I have some stuff to work with. Uh, I will simply drag and drop some content packs. These are CloudSlang based content packs that are available in the marketplace that will allow you to create content from scratch. Okay, great, they got imported. Now I should better create my own project. The very next thing is, of course, to create a desired folder structure. Let me create one. Okay, it is advisable to use source control management systems to store your projects outside of ODesigner so that others will be able to consume them. ODesigner allows you to integrate with Git. So let's do the Git integration quickly too. You'll need to import repository and this pop-up, provide the URL. I will use SSH. Afterwards, validate, uh, some more details and we are good to go. Now I can constantly push new stuff that I create on Git. I will do a first push. Let's actually create the desired stuff uh, to be able to consume it in CSA. So for the story that I, I mentioned, getting OS information, process list, CPU and others, uh, let's say I decided to work with PowerShell script operation. The very next thing I will do is simply look for it here in the dependencies section and drag it a few times on the flows canvas. I will also put a send email at the end because we'll need it. I'll need to next wire the steps and eventually make sure that the logic and the actions are working as expected. Thank you. 
You can notice that I did not wire send emails error as it will go on the default error. But this is something that we will cover on another video. At any given moment, you can view the code behind your nice looking flow, which is a human readable YAML based code. We'll talk more about it in another video. I would rather focus on setting proper step level inputs. Like for instance, on the OS information step, I will alter the script input and add the relevant PowerShell script that I want uh, to be triggered. I will do this for all the steps later on. Uh, let's not focus on that. Step level outputs can be set as well and consumed within the flow. Like for instance, the fact that I want this OS information to get to the email step. I would need to add the desired outputs. But again, uh, something that I will do later, so no point in showing um, everything at this stage. Some inputs and outputs, of course, could uh, and should be exposed at flow level. This is possible from the properties section. For instance, inputs like host, port, protocol, and others can be added here. Um, I want this connection like inputs available later on in CSA, so that's why I'm, I, I'm adding them here. Now let me complete the remaining logic. Okay, pretty much I'm done. The flow is no longer red, as you can see. I also wired the step level inputs to the corresponding flow level inputs, as you can see here. The next logical thing that I, I would like to do is to push it to Git. When you push it, always provide a meaningful comment. It will help you later on and, and others, of course. Now, let's put all the project to a central environment in order to be able to consume it in CSA. You can easily deploy to the central from a simple pop-up. A content pack will be created and deployed from OO Designer to OO Central. Now let's get back to CSA and open the central from the same workflow section. Just simply press the orchestration link. You can see the CP here and the entire structure, including the flow that I just created and a few more things that I added, but never mind about those. As I mentioned, we want to make this flow available as a user option in CSA marketplace. So now we can easily go to the CSA's resource offering and edit there. If we look for it in this wizard, it will appear. Nice. Once done, any new subscription will end up with the additional option. Actually, let's do a subscription quickly. While the subscription is processed, we can actually monitor what happens in behind. This is actually the Cloudslang provisioning flow doing the VM provisioning. Um, the flow completed, thus we can head to the marketplace. Still deploying here, but it will get online soon. And now you can see that the get advanced details that we created um, is available and you are able to trigger it and then just simply wait for the email with the relevant details. This is how easily you can enhance existing stuff or, or create new one and make it available to the consumers in one single circle of CSA, O Designer and O Central. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Find more videos and guides in our community.